So today we're going to talk about attention because what you pay attention to is a really powerful thing in your life. You see, your mind, our minds are designed to use our point of focus or our attention to define our life experiences. That's right. Which is why our attention is so important. But here's the thing. From the minute we're born, we are trained to pay attention to our parents, to our teachers, to our elders, to flashing lights and sirens. You know, the challenge is that we're taught to pay attention to the wrong things. We're taught to pay attention to the threats. Do you know that kids are told they can't 150,000 times before they're around 12 or 13? They're told they can 3,000 times. Now that is not a recipe for being unstoppable. It's all with good intention. I mean, adults are trying to protect kids and teach them all about the horrors of the world, but it's not a good thing. And it's no wonder we focus on what we can't do and the negative because we are programmed to do that. And here's the thing. It's not just how we're trained by the world. We're also wired to worry. That's called our survival instinct. And we can thank our caveman ancestors for that because you know, nature was trying to give them a way to pay attention to protect themselves from the woolly mammoths and the saber-toothed tigers and maybe, a, you know, a neighboring clan that came over and wanted to mix it up a little bit. But all of those things happened randomly and they weren't that often. <laughs> well, those threats, <laughs> we're in a whole new world now and we're certainly not in caveman time. In today's digital world, sensationalism, drama, rage, attacks, guns, shooting, war, whatever, is beamed into every single device we have, and it accelerates our worry wiring. We're exposed to threats constantly. All it takes is one sensational headline on this that you look at, and you're in survival mind, worry mind. We live in a barrage of threats. And we spend our lives on high alert. So here's the thing. Here we are with these minds that are using our attention to guide our life experience. And we're in survival mind with our attention focused on all the potential threats that are soaring around us. Oh my God, it's going to happen to me. Oh my God, it happened there. Oh my God, this is coming. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And we're constantly expecting that next threat. And our unconscious mind is using that point of focus to say, well, that must be what they want. It's certainly a recipe for constant anxiety, panic, overwhelm, panic attacks. I mean, if not full-blown trauma. And by the way, here's how that works in a nutshell. And at the end of the video, there's going to be a link. You can download a paper that explains it in detail. So your attention creates beliefs, what I call, and they turn into what I call mindware programs, personal mindware programs. And these apps are in your unconscious mind. And they guide your experience in every minute of every day based on the sensory information and the input that they choose to deliver to your conscious mind. So if you're worried about a threat and worried about what's going to happen to you, then they expect you to worry. So they're looking for things. Your unconscious mind is searching for things that match that attention and it's going to find things that are threatening and bring them into your life. And you'll wonder why we continue to feel threatened or upset or anxious or traumatized. It's how our minds were designed to give us the power to deliver and define our lives. We just forgot that power along the way sometime. Or the people that remember decided to not teach us. But I'll riff on that in another video soon. Here's the bottom line. Each of us has the power to define what we experience in our life. That key lesson transformed my quest to heal my PTSD after I recovered memories of childhood torture. It changed my world and it can change yours too. You have the power to define your life with your attention. So here's the question I'm gonna ask you now and the question you might wanna ask yourself quite often. What am I paying attention to right now? Be unstoppable out there. <laughs>